No, no, here comes the gooey kablooey. Run, Hamster Huey, run! Hamster Huey is running at a speed of six centimeters per second. God, you gotta go faster than that, Huey. Uh, and his little hamster wheel has got a radius of nine centimeters. So part A is asking me for the angular velocity of the hamster wheel. I'm gonna start with that linear speed that it gave me of six centimeters per second. So pretty much any time you're given a speed, that's where you're gonna to wanna to start from. I mean, not always, but this is a pretty good bet. So six centimeters per second. And my conversion factor to get from linear speed into angular speed is the size of the radius. So I want one radius to be up here so that the nine centimeters will go on the bottom and then my red centimeters and my green centimeters are gonna cancel. And the remaining units will be radians on the top and the seconds on the bottom. So let's go ahead and multiply straight across the top the number six times one and the only units there are radians and in the bottom uh, it's just nine and the only units are seconds. So you can go ahead and leave your answer as a fraction. I mean, you need to leave it as a fraction. Uh, you could enter six over nine, but good mathematical practice dictates that we reduce our fractions. So I'm gonna reduce that. That'll be two thirds radians per second. And then let's take a look at part B. How fast will the wheel spin in revolutions per minute? So we got some options for where we're gonna start from, but I'm gonna pick up right where we left off at two radians every three seconds. And in order to convert this into a rotational speed definition, one revolution is two pi radians. And we're gonna get radians to cancel and radians to cancel. And, oh wait, you know what? That's gonna give me revolutions in seconds, but the directions ask me for revolutions per minute. So let's back up. Beep, beep, beep. Find us a different color pen. 60 seconds, one minute. And now, uh, ah, a color I didn't use yet, seconds, and seconds cancel. Now I'm left with revolutions on the unit on the top, minutes is the revolution as the units on the bottom. Now we can multiply. So let's see, all those numbers on the top, two times one times 60, it's gonna give me 120, and revolutions is the unit. Denominators, three times two pi times one, so it's gonna give me six pi, and the units are minutes. Okay, you could leave it like that, 120 over six pi, but we're gonna reduce that. So I can divide both of those numbers by six. It's gonna give me 20 over pi revolutions, minutes. 20 revolutions every pi minutes. And so I know what you're thinking. You're gonna say, wait a minute, Mr. J, nobody ever talked about pi minutes, but, Check this out. Boom, there is a radian clock. I have this exact clock on my wall in the classroom. And uh, as if it's not weird enough that it uses radians instead of degrees. I mean, you don't even put degrees on a clock anyway, but it uses radians instead of whatever else you would put on a clock. But then check out the price. It's not even labeled in dollars. It's like in euros. So crazy. There it is right there. There's pi minutes all right go away clock so 20 revolutions every pi minutes well, let's get these answers typed in here so part a two over three radians per second and for part b 20 over pi revolutions per minute if i get this right i'm going to celebrate by buying a new radiance clock <laughs> All right, dial up that clock. I'm going to buy it.